Yeah, Pat and Dome. The wife is still in the hospital with a broken leg. She's going to need surgery. And I want to show you this home. You look at most of the front of the home is destroyed. And when you see the front of this home, you look over. They also lost two cars. Imagine how much firepower had to come out of this house to destroy this car. I mean, the wheels are gone. This family has lost everything, most all of their possessions, along with a pet. But they say that they are grateful to be alive. Memory after memory made in this house for the Ankenbrand family. Chris and Leanne were married on the porch of the home eight years ago. This house was where we made our, a new start with both our lives. Unfortunately, the newest memory, a fire. It's kind of sad in some respects to look at it that way, but I guess it's a new start in a whole nother way, I guess, and another chapter at that point. Around 11 Friday night, Chris says he jolted out of bed, realizing something was very wrong. Woke up to the smoke detector. Um, luckily, because my stepdaughter Ashley had been honest to change the one in the kitchen, I went ahead and changed all the batteries, and that thing was just going off and going off and going off. He grabbed his wife Lorraine and got onto the roof. He says she slipped on the shingles and fell onto the porch, breaking her leg. If we hadn't gotten out of this one, I, I don't know what we'd have done. Because the only other option is a longer two-story drop, and I don't think any of us would have made it. Chris's stepdaughter, Ashley, lives with them. She was out of town when the fire ignited, and her room was destroyed. As long as they're okay, I'm fine. The house can be replaced, things can be replaced, but they can't be replaced. In the fire, the family also lost two cars and their dog, Roscoe, who they were unable to save. My wife and I are always firm believers in everything happens for a reason. So God had something meant for us, and we may not know what that is now, but we'll know what that is once we move forward. I mean, we're alive and we're safe. Now, I spoke with the Belton Fire Chief today. He tells me he believes the cause of this fire was accidental and that putting those new batteries in their smoke detector definitely saved their lives. And so now this family is homeless. They've lost all their possessions. They're being helped right now by family and friends. And we'll have some information on our website if you want to help this family as well. Sheree Honeycutt, Fox 4 News.